part three in our framing project. This is a good one. We're going to frame up the roof. So in this video, we're going to lay out and cut common rafters. We're going to cut a ridge post and a ridge. We're then going to install them all and we'll even install a king rafter. So check it out. This one is a beauty. All right, so here's a sheet that I've made up and it's going to make our life an awful lot easier. The other thing we're going to need is a construction calculator. If you don't have a construction calculator like this, you can actually download an app online that actually will do it for you. It is going to make our life so much easier. So a couple things we need to know overall. So the first is the overall run of the building. In my case, it happens to be 24 inches or two feet. So the first thing I'm going to do is type in 24 inches. And the next thing I need to do is calculate the adjusted run. What the adjusted run is, it's the width of the building minus the thickness of the ridge. So for our scaled model, it's actually 3 eighths. So I'm going to minus 3 eighths of an inch which gives us 23 and 5 eighths. And th I'm then going to write that down and I'm going to divide it by two, which gives us our run of 11 and 13 sixteenths. So this calculator is amazing. Once we have this, it's really basic. All we need to do is tell the calculator that that is our run. We're now going to give it our pitch. So you can decide to do whatever pitch you want. In my case, I'm going to do a 912 pitch. So I'm going to go nine inch pitch. And now very easily, the calculator gives me the rise, the run, the diagonal, and it even will do hip and jack which we'll talk about those later in another video. So I'm going to go on my rise and I'll write down rise, which is eight and seven eighths. My diagonal is 14 and three quarter. And just to check it one more time, my run is 11 and 13 sixteenths. Now that I have those, I can go ahead and cut my rafters. Now that I have these calculations, I can go ahead and calculate. Now that I have these calculations, I can go ahead and lay out my first rafter. I'll then come back later and calculate the ridge post and set the ridge. All right, so we're almost ready to actually start laying out our common rafter. But in order to do that, we're going to need a framing square. If you're not familiar with the framing square, there's two main components to it, what's called the tongue and the body of the framing square. The tongue always represents the rise and the body always represents the run. So remember, whatever your rise and run is, it's always going to be in this relationship. If you have a 912, it means you're going to have nine inches of rise for every 12 inches of run. In our model, we're doing a quarter of an inch scale. So in order to do, actually lay this out on our rafters, which are quite small, we're going to just actually divide our numbers by four. So instead of 12, we're going to go with three. And instead of nine, we're going to go with two and a half. We've simply just divided nine by four and 12 by four. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set my stair knocks on two and a half and on three.
All right, common rafter all cut. Uh, now the next step is I need to measure from here to here. I'm gonna flip this around so you can see the line. This is called the height above plate, okay? Uh, when the calculator calculates it, it actually does an imaginary line all the way up from the outside of the building to just where this bird's mouth meets. So we need to add that. Of course, the calculator didn't know what that is. So we're gonna add this. We will also add the width of the ridge. We're going to minus that off our overall height. So our project, we're, well, like I've mentioned, we're using a quarter inch scale. Our ridge for our shed is actually two by eight, which in real life is seven and a quarter. And our rafters are going to be two by sixes. So we've scaled those down to equal an inch and 13 sixteenths for our uh, two by eight. And now we'll go do our calculations. Our rise is the same as our rise here. So it's going to be eight and seven eighths. Our height above plate, once we measure that, we're going to take this and we're going to measure our height above plate. So my height above plate is one inch and one sixteenth. And like I said, my ridge is actually one inch and 13 sixteenths. So now I'm going to add these two together and I'm going to minus the ridge for it to get the height of my ridge post. Eight inches and seven eighths rise plus our height above plate, which is one inch and one sixteenth plus or minus one inch and 13 sixteenths equals eight and one eighth. So our ridge post is equal to eight and one eighth. So I went ahead and grabbed uh, what's equal to a two by four in our scale. And I marked it out at an inch and an eighth. I'm gonna cut it on the miter saw now. I'm gonna bring it over. I'm gonna hold it up and then hold up my rafter just to make sure it's all worked out. Okay, moment of truth. We're back at the mock-up. We have all three of our parts, which is our common rafter, our ridge post and our ridge. I'm going to just quickly assemble them here and get an idea that it's going to fit. Now I can see it actually fits perfectly. So my next step, since we're doing a hip roof, is to lay out the common rafter spacing off the back. So this is a pretty easy measurement. It's just your run. It's the same as it was on your front wall. It's where the ridge will stop and also where the king rafter will come up and meet the ridge. Now I'll take my ridge and lay it out. I make sure I overhang my tape measure by 3 eighths of an inch to account for what's going to be called a fascia board afterwards. And then I'm going to lay out my rafters six inches on center which would work out to two foot on center in real life. I'm gonna transfer those lines over to both sides to make it really clear. And once I have this all laid out, I can cut it to length on the miter saw. I then transfer those lines down to the top plate and I install my ridge post. I'm going to cheat a little bit by using some miter bar. I now assemble my common rafters to the ridge. It's easiest to just install the two common rafters at the front and the back and transfer it over to the model and add in the rest of the rafters. The last step is to install the king rafter, which is going to run up the back right into the ridge. And we're all done. Don't forget to check out part four where we actually cut and install a hip rafter.